Hi there, Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Um, today I just want to address the issue of an incident that took place in the United Arab Emirates. Apparently a 22-year-old boy, a young, young lad who was driving on a road, busy road, he happened to see an accident that took place and he took out his cell phone and started recording. And what he captured was a, um, an Arab gentleman who was driving a four-wheel drive. He comes out uh, to this uh, uh, supply van that is there and this Indian guy gets out and uh, apparently this Arabic gentleman, what he does is he takes his ego, that is uh, an Arabic cotton that is worn at the top and starts uh, you know, hitting him in anger because uh, as it seems this Indian guy apparently hit and run and he ran off. So now what happened is uh, this young boy, 22 year old, he put this up on YouTube and um, uh, this has been viewed by social media all across the world. And um, following that, the um, Arabs, uh, the Arab gentleman's family, the, his son sued this boy, this 22-year-old, for defamation of character. Now, I'll just give you my views on the whole situation, okay? And I hope I don't get arrested for this. Um, the first one is, uh, hey, you know, driving. The first thing I'd like to tell you is, when you drive, please drive carefully because... The thing is, right now, everyone is fasting, everyone is tired, you know, it's a holy month of Ramadan, so obviously everyone is, uh, you know, the withdrawal symptoms of food and, you know, your lifestyle, alcohol and cigarettes, they, they, do, they do impact you. So please drive slowly, drive carefully. That is the first thing I'd like to say on the outset. Uh, the second thing is, when you hit someone, um, it was a case of hit and run. When you hit someone, do not run. I mean, if there's an accident, stop your car, acknowledge what has happened. So... The Indian guy was apparently at fault for hitting and running. You don't do that, my friend. And especially with a car like a four-wheel drive, which can go faster than you. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Then, if you actually look at the video, okay, the Arabic guy was angry. Okay, it, it is normal and natural for anyone to get angry. And what they claim was hitting, he was not violently hitting him like these American movies or this UFC or these boxing matches where he's, uh, you know, breaking his fist, uh, no, breaking his fist on his face or blood was coming. Yes, he did hit him, which is wrong. Uh, you're not supposed to raise his hand, but he didn't actually hit him as hit him. He just, you know, pushed him and expressed his anger. So, I, I don't know why I'd be blowing this out of proportion and saying, Emirati hits India. Okay? Uh, we are just identifying and speculating and putting fuel to fire. It is just one human being hitting another human being. Uh, it could have been anybody. Then, uh, now, this, this thing about Arab versus Indian, please stop making a racist issue out of it. It is just one human being expressing his anger towards another human being who was at fault. And yes, they both were at fault in the end, but just let's look at it as Indians. Yeah, and, uh, you know, in my personal opinion, I'm, I'm just telling honestly, I met a lot of Arabs and I, I don't know what is the reason why the Western media is making Arabs as these monsters, as these bad guys. Yes, there are rednecks in the U.S. also who can say, yeah, let's kill everyone. But that doesn't make all the Americans bad. If you look at American movies, all American movies, all the Americans are the good guys, and the Chinese and the Arabs are the bad guys. So let's, let's not blow things out of proportion. I've been born and brought up here in the UAE for almost 32 years. Uh, sorry, uh, brought up in the UAE for 33 years. Uh, and I, I have seen Arabs who, some of them are, a little crazy, especially the youth, but normally, normally, I think Arabs are very reserved and conservative people and they like to mind their own business and they're nice guys. Uh, I, I, I have not had, if I calculate the good and bad experiences, I would say I've had a lot of good experiences with these guys. In fact, I'm staying in their country, so I, I don't know why Arabs and Muslims are portrayed as bad people. They are not. Okay, let's, let's get this straight. They are not bad people. It's just politics that comes into play, racism and people's mentality. Yes, there are some laws which you will not be comfortable. Absolutely. There will be some laws, there will be some traditions, there will be some cultures. Like for example, uh, let's say for a Christian, he may not uh, accept the Muslim way of praying or for a Hindu, he may not accept the Christian way of life. So there are differences. That is what makes us human. Now, you can go into the specifics. Oh, they marry four times. Oh, they marry underage girls. Oh, they, uh, you know, uh, Islam is so strict, but they smoke and drink. Man, listen, Nobody is perfect, okay? And just because one guy or two guys or a bunch of guys do it, that doesn't mean everyone is bad. If you look at that way, um, Indians, 
all of them, most of them have moustache and eat curry. That does not make all Indians having a moustache. Um, uh, if you look at Filipinos, they uh, they they were uh, they're very modern. At least that is what it shows, and uh, they go to clubs. So does that make all the Filipinos the same? I've seen a lot of Filipinos who go to church and who pray nonstop. Then they're very religious and they're very spiritual, and they have beautiful families, and they're not broken. So let's stop uh, pointing fingers at any culture, uh, any race, or uh, making one person represent everyone else. Okay. For example, Iranians. Uh, the way United States is portraying Iran is all hardcore who kill us. Well, if you actually see, I met a lot of Iranians, they're, they're cool people. It's live and let live. So let's not bring in this and blow it out of proportion. Now, uh, to those people who do not like the laws, there's, there's a very simple solution to this. Listen, we are expatriates in this country. And this country, uh, United Arab Emirates, has made it very clear. You don't like the laws. Please leave. I, we never forced you to come. So it's, it's very simple. You know, I, I know this is not fair, okay? But... You are the guest. If someone comes to my house and says, Hey, I don't like your house. I don't like the paint. I don't like the books. I don't like... Come on. You are a guest in my house. You don't start ranting and raving of what you like and don't like. You don't like, you leave. Okay? So, if I don't like the rules of the country, I should leave. So, you don't like the rules, you leave. But having said that, you know, consider this. Dubai is growing like crazy. It's absolutely growing. It's booming. It's, it's a growing economy. And... The number of locals, the Arab population is very small, very, very small. That means the majority are expatriates. Now, the reason why they're coming here is because the benefits, they outweigh the drawbacks. So, you know, whether you like it or not, UAE has been growing, booming, and it's, it's, it's creating wonders. So, if you don't like it, well, leave. It's as simple as that. Because the reason why many Indians, Filipinos, and Pakistanis, and so many, I think there are more than, I don't know, 60 nationalities or maybe 70. The reason why they're here is because Dubai offers a lot of opportunities. So stop complaining. And if you don't like, go back to your country. Like how the Arabs say, go back to your country. Don't, why, why are you here? Why are you complaining? And finally, last but not the least, I think the underlying message is not about racism. I don't think it should be about, oh, these unfair laws. It had an Emirati taken a video of an Indian. Listen. We can keep speculating about this. It's simple. UAE is United Arab Emirates. It's not United Arab Indians. It's not United Arab Filipinos. It is not United Arab uh, planet, you know, uh, Uranus or something. It is United Arab Emirates. So they have to offer benefits to Arabs. Okay. Just as in India, they have, uh, you know, more preference towards Indians. Uh, everywhere it's the same. Everywhere. If you look at a company, uh, all the CEOs are, you know, well educated. They're tall, they're slim. You'll never see, uh, we can even focus on, uh, you know, um, why women are not being uh, given equal opportunities. We live in a world that is not perfect, okay? Simple as that. So what I'm trying to tell you, the model of the story is simply this. Number one, road rage. Please drive carefully, okay? It's really fortunate that there was no uh, death or there was no absolute injuries. That is the first thing. So please drive carefully, take care, drive slow, Make sure that you don't kill anyone in the process. Second one is, please don't hit and run. That is that is not acceptable by any standards. You hit, take responsibility, be there. And maybe that guy ran, not because he's a bad guy, but because he was scared. Okay, just relax. You need to relax. The third one is, please do not resort to hitting one another. And in terms of defamation, look, this is my opinion. Okay, just my opinion. If you do something and you're caught and everyone knows about it, that is reality and I don't call that defamation. Okay. Maybe the rules of definition of this country maybe state that if you do something and you're caught and it's told to the world it's defamation. Well, if you actually look at it, the guy is a very high-ranking official in the Arabic community and Arabs are very particular about the name. So, yes, it can be looked upon as defamation. I'm not very much into the law, but, uh, well, to tell you honestly, uh, given his position and given his uh, credentials, uh, being a high-ranking officer, well, uh, I, I, you know, it will be tough for him to go back to work because people will be talking about it. So it will uh, affect and impact his life, his social status. While a normal, ordinary person who is not known, it wouldn't, you know, matter much. So yes, it could be looked upon as defamation, but I don't want to get into that. The third one is let's not look at it as an aspect of Indian versus Arab or Arab versus Indian or any other nationality or Muslim versus Hindu or Christian. It's we are just human beings in one planet. Please just, just relax. And last but not the least, my my heartfelt uh, feelings go for this 22-year-old boy. I I just wish they give him a chance and an opportunity because he's a young boy. You know, 
he didn't know maybe that this would speculate and move to this my heart goes to that family that that has to faces you know one is the the arabs family because you know uh, being at such a level they might have to face mockery and you know so, but most so ever to that indian family the boy i mean i i, I do not know what his family must be going to 20000 dirhams uh, or close to i think uh, that's uh, let me tell you how much is that exactly in terms of dollars that is 21 to 3 uh, divided by 3.65 uh it's around uh, you know 5000 you know 500 dollars so that's a uh, that's that's quite a lot of money Wait, let, let me just get that right um 21 to 20000 divided by mm, mm, mm. okay 5500 dollars yes um that is also you know a big amount of money i i don't know if the family can afford it i i just hope that this family can recover from this loss and overall guys uh look um let's not blow things out of proportion uh, everyone has a view everyone has an opinion but to the people in uae the expatriates just be careful because it's very simple it's a very sensitive issue and look for all you people who complain compared to saudi uh, i think uae offers much more benefit compared to saudi kuwait so many other places uae offers you a lot of benefits a lot of uh, uh good points and this is a place where you can make money you can be happy you can have security so stop complaining about it and uh stop blowing things out of proportion end of the day this is just my opinion uh live and let live be happy and uh stop making this larger than what it is this is loy mesido from loymesido.com giving you his opinion and um uh, i just hope uh, i've not offended anyone in the process because anyway i'm living in uae Anyway, take care. This is Lloyd at LloydMcSeeder dot com. Take care.